Hey everybody, thank you for tuning in for another Small Business Saturday. My name is Malik Wasim with the Urbane Market and this is El Haji Sase with Sugar Bomb. Today, he's gonna tell us a bit about his business, how he got started and the amazing product that he developed and created himself. So El Haji, go ahead and tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, well, I've been in the beauty industry for over 20 years. I've been a barber, I've been a hairstylist. Um, so I have, um, always been around people and always have uh, wanted to make people feel good and confident um, and even myself um, working long days behind the chair you can get a little bit you know get a little bit sweaty a little bit <laughs> get a little yes. bit moist um, and then I've even had clients that you know I'm like yeah, you could use a, a mm. little bit of yeah being around people like all the time you get so many different scents and smells and you do i mean i'm pretty sensitive to that and i just um i don't know i mean it was just something that i wanted to develop so that i would feel more confident um i'm also very much like a health nut in a lot of ways mm -hmm. um, i love everything natural um, and i believe in uh being very chemical free um and finding natural alternatives mm -hmm. So with that being said, what is in here? Tell us what's in here. Yeah, so um, a lot of the ingredients in here are food grade uh, materials. So, um, but there's witch hazel, which is a product that I even use when I'm barbering. Mm -hmm. Just because it's not like, um, like an alcohol that burns your skin. It's a very natural cleansing agent, astringent. Um, there's citric acid, which is the same thing that you would uh, find on like a Sour Patch Kid. Okay. Yeah, that gives it the like candy, it gives it a, a sour uh, flavor. Okay. Um, but it's a good natural exfoliant. Also, it um, lowers the pH uh, on your skin so that way, like, bacteria doesn't love to live there. Wow. Um, there's uh, a natural emulsifier in there so that it gives you the foaming action. And it's mm -hmm. a, a natural surfacant to uh, kind of slick away any bacteria or any odors. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a lot of good stuff in there. How, um, how did you uh, figure out how to make this work? Well, I mean, I did some research and um, I was looking again for some natural alternatives to um, deodorizing your body. And I also really wanted to know um, what tricks I could use on other places in your body. And I found that people were saying like lemon juice or mm. lime juice. And my thing is, okay. So put like lemon juice or lime juice. On your on, skin. Okay. Which is, it's very liquidy and it, it runs. Um, but you know, my thing is, okay, so what's the active ingredient in lemons or in limes, which is in uh, citrus fruits, which mm -hmm. is citric acid. Um, and I wanted to be able to just kind of concentrate that power. Um, but when, when, when this was in development, this, when this is something that I discovered, um, I was actually uh, making hair mousse. As oh. a hairstylist, I wanted to start making products and mm -hmm. I was kind of, I ordered all of these ingredients and um, I said, well, how can I make it where it's not runny? Uh, you put it on your skin and then mm -hmm. you can place it easily and I'm like, Oh, okay, if I put, uh, at the time I was using uh, uh, polysorbate, uh, which is another food grade type of material, but it, it's an emulsifier that makes things foam when it's uh, applied in, when it's put in an application bottle like this. Um, so, Got it. Anyway, that's how it, how wow. it was developed. So it's very simple, um, it's all natural, right? Uh, yeah, it's all natural ingredients in it, yes. Okay, cool. And so tell, tell me a little bit more about, as a small business owner, what type of challenges have you faced, you know, starting your business and getting it out there? Um, I, I would say that the, the most challenging thing is, when you say getting it out there, is actually uh, educating people. It's a new way of hygiene. Um, most people are used to using deodorants or sprays, um, antiperspirants, um, but just marketing, I think has been uh, a bit of a challenge uh, for me. And then also, um, you know, finding the materials and, you know, being exposed to, um, you know, getting uh, material in order to produce the product. I think 
during the pandemic, there has been some challenges with like, you know, getting supply chain, <laughs> and supply chain, and yeah, all, all stuff. that stuff. Yeah. So you run into those issues with um, getting materials like your bottles and yeah. labels and things like that. But it's 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 been definitely been a learning curve. It's been something that I've been really enjoying being a CEO, or being a founder, mm-hmm. um, and just setting up the business itself. There's a lot that goes on behind the actual product, mm-hmm. you know, with and especially running an e-commerce business, um, having something online. There's <laughs> so many things to learn, um, and there's so many hats that you wear when you're founding something because. Yeah, you don't necessarily have a budget where you can have a, a large team right. of people to help you. Um, so that has been some of the challenges. It's mm-hmm. been very rewarding, um, but it has definitely been a challenge. So how have you overcome these challenges? What do you What do you do to pivot and to um, solve the problems that you might face on a day to day basis? Um, so a lot of research. Um, you know, when it's when it comes to things that I'm just not aware of or don't know, there's there's a lot of mistakes that I have made um, that you know you get a slap on the hand and maybe a penalty uh, for different you know having running a, a business or entity. This is actually a corporation, so there's a lot of things that make things a little bit more complicated. Mm-hmm. However, um, just doing research, like YouTube has really been a good friend of mine. Okay. Um, and I have really, really resourceful, close friends and clients. Um, as a barber, I know a lot of people who are in business, who are entrepreneurs themselves. Mm-hmm. Um, and I have some really good friends that are businessmen, businesswomen, and they've uh, helped me. Uh, this was, <laughs> there was a time where I had like a coding issue on my website and I just uh, put it out there like, hey, I need a coder, like anybody know it? One of my good friends reached out to me and help me and fix the problem. And I that's always amazing. learn from it too. They mm-hmm. give me a little bit to bit. That's uh, good. Information. That's why it's important to have a tribe of people, you know, reach out to your network, ask for help. You never know who can help you. And as an entrepreneur, like he said, you have to wear many hats. Yeah. It's never just, oh, I'm going to create this product and yeah. it's going to sell. It's, you know, the back end, the business, the website, logistics, everything. So, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about um, how you how you plan to scale your business and kind of like what your where where do you see Sugar Bomb going in the next two to five years? Yeah, well, as far as Sugar Bomb, like as far as the vision is concerned, I have um, a lot of ideas. Um, there's other products that I have in development. A lot of it is intellectually right now. Um, but that are coming along. So as far as where I see it, I see that it's Sugar Bomb is gonna be a, a brand where there's gonna be a lot of products that fall underneath it. Um, and I think it, everything that we come out with is gonna address the needs of uh, people of color, people who are in the LGBTQ community, um, and things that are uh, geared towards boosting confidence. Um, As far as um, how do I think I'm gonna scale it, I think just, um, I'm still learning, I'm still uh, researching different things. There's been organizations that I have um, applied to that will, you know, give assistance uh, and knowledge Mm -hmm. on how to scale and, um, and get into, you know, bigger stores like like a Sephora, um, things of that nature. So, and I think also just um, something that I'm open to is partnering uh, with other businesses and, and people um, who can who can help you know open other doors for us. Yes, that's amazing. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. This is El Haji. This is Sugar Brum. Check it out. It's amazing. It will really get you together. And we will see you next time for another Small Business Saturday. Thank you. Thank you.